please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by the senior members of the River Hill Chorus. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to invite Zach Grunland and Jasmine Tiemfuk to our stage for our official graduation welcome. Good morning. We know it's not morning, but how could we not start this ceremony without using Dr. Saunders' iconic greeting? Hello, everyone, and welcome family, friends, esteemed guests, and most importantly, the class of 2018. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the River Hill School High School's graduating class of 2018. My name is Zach Grunland. And I'm Jasmine Tianfuk. It is our pleasure to welcome you to our graduation. River Hill has been our home for the last four years, and we have had the pleasure of growing up, or for some of us, glowing up, alongside our peers. We have all accomplished so much in these four years, and we are so grateful for the time that you have all taken out of your schedules to celebrate with us here today. We're not here to brag, but here at River Hill, we have a history of excellence. Being just over 20 years old, River Hill has been a powerhouse within the state, both academically and athletically. Within our own class these past four years, we've been a part of 21 county championships, 21 regional championships, nine state championships, and 14, we have 14 national merit semifinalists, one Siemens finalist, and recently we've been ranked fourth within the state of Maryland by US News. Besides our performances, <laughs> thank you. Very accomplished. Besides our performances and rankings, the thing that makes River Hill, River Hill is our sense of community. Over the last four years, we have watched our classmates come together and accomplish amazing things. Look at what we have done in the last four years. We know that our, journey, our journeys are just beginning. High school might be over, but we have some big things planned. Shortly, we will rock across the stage and conclude our high school careers. For each of us, our high school journey is coming to an end, but we all have some new ones that will start soon. Parents, prepare to get emotional. Students, prepare to get sweaty. And teachers, prepare to say goodbye to the best class River Hill has ever seen. Thank you and get ready for the rest of graduation. We would now like to introduce Anna Saul Brady, our very own student member of the board, who will introduce our esteemed stage guests. Good afternoon. At this time, we would like to recognize and thank some special individuals without whose hard work we would not have received such an exceptional education. Guests, as you are introduced, please stand to be recognized. Audience members, please hold your applause until after all introductions have been made. 
On the stage at this time, we have Ms. Cynthia Valencourt, Chairman, Howard County Board of Education, Ms. Mavis Ellis, Vice Chairman, Howard County Board of Education, Ms. Sandra French, Howard County Board of Education, Dr. Michael Martirano, Interim Superintendent, Howard County Public School System, Ms. Kara Lee Turner Little, Assistant Superintendent for Administrative Affairs, Ms. Can Mrs. Catherine McKinley, Principal, River Hill High School, the Honorable Gail H. Bates, Maryland State Senator, District 9, the Honorable Guy Gazzoni, Maryland State Senator, District 13, the Honorable Vanessa E. Atterbury, Maryland State Delegate, District 13, the Honorable Warren Miller, Maryland State Delegate, District 9A, the Honorable Shane Pendergrass, Maryland State Delegate, District 13, the Honorable Frank Turner, Maryland State Delegate, District 13, the Honorable Calvin Ball, Vice Chairman of the Howard County Council, District 2, Frank Eastham, Chief School Management and Instructional Leadership Officer, Rafu Aihile, Chief Business and Technology Officer, Marcy Leonard, Community Superintendent, Jason McCoy, Performance, Equity, and Community Response Officer, Mrs. Lindsay Galbraith, Assistant Principal, River Hill High School, Mr. Brandon Lauer, Athletics and Activities Manager, River Hill High School, Dr. Napoleon Saunders, Assistant Principal, River Hill High School, Mr. Jeff Fisher, Applications and Research Laboratory, Mrs. Catherine Geiger, Senior Class Co-Sponsor, River Hill High School, Mrs. Jennifer Hennessy, Senior Class Co-Sponsor, River Hill High School, Mrs. Callie Casper, Teacher, River Hill High School, Mrs. Kristen Mitchell, Teacher, River Hill High School. Let's give all of our honored guests a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Naomi Hess, who will present our first student address. especially my fellow graduates. As teenagers, we often feel that what we have to say does not matter. Teenagers often doubt their ability to make a difference, whether in their community or in their country. I am here to tell you that we do not have to wait for our futures to begin. Instead, we can make the future happen now. Throughout history, young people have created change in their, have created change. In Greensboro, North Carolina, in 1960, college students started the Lunch Counter Students for Civil Rights. Malala Yousafzai began advocating for women's education when she was just a child. Many of my classmates marched in Washington for a cause that matters to my generation. There is no limit on what teenagers can achieve. Although we are still young, my peers have already begun to make an impact on the world. I know some of you might be wondering, what have you ever done to make the world a better place? You might think that your only achievements are watching a whole Netflix series in one weekend or reaching a 100-day Snapchat streak. However, in this audience, we have self-published authors as well as talented musicians whose songs are available on iTunes. We have dancers and actors who make us laugh and shed tears during their performances. We have students who wrote code to control satellites on the International Space Station. We have amazing athletes who have won numerous state championships, students with fantastic jobs and internships who help others every day, and people who take pride in simply being a good friend. These are only a few examples of how my classmates have contributed to a better future. By affecting the people around them in a positive manner, my peers are doing their part to improve the world. 
as we move forward, I urge you to think about what you can do to be of value to society. What can you do to make a difference? Make your voice heard. If you see something that can be improved, speak up. In the words of Anne Frank, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. The youth of America, including the teenagers in front of me, can be the next generation of leaders and act as a catalyst for change. We are now about to start a new stage of our lives as we say goodbye to high school. As we embark on this new journey, I hope you all remember that you have the capability to shape your own future, a future filled with endless opportunities. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2018. to invite our keynote speaker, Megan Rabe, to the stage. Right now, it's tempting to try and sum up the past four years. It'd be nice to box up all we've experienced, fix a little bow on it, carry it with us onto the train of the future, and say, this was my time at River Hill. Wasn't it awesome? Of course, it doesn't really work like that. In school life, we want packaged, concise summaries. In real life, we seek something greater, meaning. But reality, the day to day, isn't always glowing with significance. Things turn out confusing and sloppy. People argue for no reason, and there's always drama about a snake on Finsta. Loose ends don't, don't get wrapped up, and lessons aren't fully learned. But guess what? That's okay. More than okay, actually. It's simply wonderful. A few months ago, my friend and I were sitting in the car, talking about memes, and listening to the Beatles' Abbey Road album. The kinds of things you do when good company is enough to make you content. Nice, sure, but not remarkable. Suddenly, I had this flash. I imagined myself transported 10 years into the future, looking back at this silly little instant. Why? Because it was a moment that, in all its seeming mundanity, owed its whole existence to our friendship, to a connection. And this is where the meaning comes from. To explain, here's my own sloppy, confusing story. In ninth grade, an eating disorder became my life. Like so many girls of this generation, I was brainwashed by popular trends, convinced that perfectionism was in and self-contentment was out. A certain spiritual emptiness overcame me as I considered myself an object whose worth was earned and compared. Anorexia convinced me to sacrifice close friendships. I isolated myself, and loneliness burns. Anorexia had become, become my god but I found strength in abandoning her rituals of restrictive eating. I stopped measuring my moral progress with numbers on the scale. How? I sought and strengthened new relationships. Support from others propelled my journey to recovery. The sheer force of connection, with all its comfort, laughter, and empathy, pulled me from rock bottom. So remember this. Hard work and achievement only define some of what we do as high schoolers. The rest, even the majority, are shaped by simple yet great time with the people around us, the ones guiding us, collaborating with us, and uplifting us from our darkest moments. Look at your high school life, not as some literal picture that's been carefully sketched and captioned. See it as a mosaic. All the little episodes of your time here all the relationships you've forged, these are the pieces you've been gluing together. These are the things that possess the truest vitality and build you. But I dare you to venture out of your friend groups. Wherever the future takes you, develop a more accepting outlook. Introduce yourself to someone new. Similarities may surprise you and differences will enrich you. Don't compromise the connections you can make. The future isn't some high-speed train zooming to the next station. It's a car full of all the friends and mentors you'll meet, honking from the driveway to hurry up. All you have to do is chug some coffee, 
maybe grab a map and get out there. Expand and rework your community. And yes, finding our way to do good in this world will be challenging. But if we explore for the sake of exploring, think for the sake of thinking, and love for the sake of loving, we can discover things about ourselves and the world that we never thought possible. This was our time at River Hill. Wasn't it awesome? Good afternoon, teachers, administrators, distinguished guests, family, friends, and of course, the class of 2018. We are so excited to introduce Ms. Wester as the 2018 Teacher of the Year. She is not able to be here today because of her daughter's own graduation. Instead, we are going to speak on her behalf. Ms. Wester is a teacher like no other. If you've ever stepped foot in one of her environmental science classes, she's probably tried to show off her handmade, there is no such thing as clean coal sign to you. Made with duct tape and cardboard, it's a little frayed, but only because she's already brought it to several environmental protests. It's evident that she truly loves what she does and what she teaches. Sometimes at 7.25 in the morning, it's a little depressing to hear that our world is dying of anthropogenic climate change, but she tries her best to lighten the mood. She shows off charts detailing how much CO2 she's been saving through her newly installed solar panels, a feat that she's very proud of, and she talks about how she's been trying to make her own handmade natural deodorant, an endeavor that is almost entirely waste-free, although a little risky, if you ask me. One time, I had walked into Apes thinking that Miss Wester had baked cookies for us, when in reality, she had made these weird loaves out of chickpeas, rocks, and sand so that we could do a mining simulation lab. These are things that only Miss Wester would do. But even if you've never had Miss Wester, one glance at her classroom should give you a good indication of her character. A plush E. coli, a stuffed Kermit the Frog, and a rubber snake named Samuel are scattered across the desk. In a 12th grade AP class, toys and stuffed animals might seem out of place, but in Miss Wester's room, they're par for the course. For us, they're a source of amusement, but for her, they're evidence of her love for all things chemical and environmental. She is genuinely enthusiastic about her class, and she makes it approachable. She instills you with the sense that, yes, the planet is dying, but you can do something about it, too. Although Ms. Wester is not here today, she wants to remind you of two things. One, go out and see the world. And two, your life plan might not be organized, and that's OK. After all, Ms. Wester took a gap year before gap years were cool, and then she wandered around in college for eight years. But she figured it out and is happy. She wants to thank us for selecting her as the 2018 Teacher of the Year, and she wishes us the best of luck. Thank you, Ms. Wester, and congratulations to the class of 2018. Seniors, in the class of 2018, today is your day. And I want to tell you from the heart that I am proud of all the good things you have accomplished. And I believe in the goodness that you will carry into the future. Every speech you've heard during your senior week and every speech shared today, every spirit point you earned this year, every college essay you wrote, every recognition you earned, every one of you inspires me to believe that people are good in so many ways. Many important people are here with us today to celebrate you. Join me as I officially welcome your parents and families who are seated behind you, along with our honored guests who are seated on the stage with me, our interim superintendent and our Board of Education members, 
and our county council members in addition to the delegates and representatives at the state level. County Executive Kittleman is very sorry that he could not join us today due to his need to be in Ellicott City. But he sends his best wishes to the class of 2018 at River Hill High School. Let me begin with the message that will mean more to you if our students show you how most people are good through the music of Luke Bryan as performed by Max Carlson and Danielle Gover. seniors possess an eloquent student voice as evidenced in their poignant English essays and personal college essays about the lessons they've learned as young children and young adults. Their written voice describes life lessons, lessons from unlikely places, lessons that spread across the canvas. And in all of these lessons, student voice demonstrates to me the belief that most people are good. In the song, Most People Are Good, the lyrics share a motivational lesson for life today and some key points for happiness and success. Let's start with, I believe you love who you love. Tucker, Tucker Finkelston, our SGA president, was asked to select a moment in his life that helped him to grow. He began his essay with the impossibility of selecting a single perfect moment made a bit complex by the reality of a good person who created handfuls of meaningful moments and highlighted enduring family love. In every moment, that person taught me something, helped me to grow and influenced who I am. I am the oldest of four brothers, and on February 4th, 2009, my youngest brother joined this world and completed the puzzle that is our family. My brother was born with a gen genetic condition known as Williams Syndrome, and for the first several years of his life, he spent them attached to heart monitors and, and needed a lot of care and attention. In the mix of family dynamics, Paxton taught me responsibility. And as the oldest brother, responsibility was kind of a necessity. I often found myself asking, how can I help? And I now know that Paxton taught me to be caring, empathetic, and selfless. Now, as an elementary boy, learning to navigate this world on his own, I strive to be a positive role model. Paxton has taught me how to be a leader. I believe that Paxton has been a blessing for me, my family, and anybody lucky enough to know him. Paxton has been a good person for me, and thanks to Paxton and my family, I have learned that most people are indeed good. I believe that streets of gold are worth the work. Sophie Shen, our president of the National Art Honor Society, also believes in the good work that can sparkle in gold, and she learned this life lesson through her passion for art. My passion for art blossomed from a curious exploration into an integral component of my identity. Art, my closest companion, has equipped me with lessons I carry from the studio to my community to whatever lies ahead. I, along with several of my peers, 
have been hosting art therapy lessons in the senior living community. Over time, these experiences became more than simply volunteering my time. Witnessing the transformative effects of art, warm smiles, happy hearts, loving memories, and renewed confidence helped me discover the drive behind my passion. Art is empowering because its impact resonates beyond the canvas through brushstrokes that bring joy into the lives of others. I believe that the good of art comes into the full color through vibrant life stories, a sea of warm smiles, and sparkling gratification attainable only because people are good. I believe that youth is spent well on the young because wisdom in your teens would be a lot less fun. Zach Grunlin, captain of the cross country team, was asked to describe an object that captured his essence and goodness in everyday living. I am a cheese stick. My skin marbled with the yellow and white from my multiracial parentage. And I can tell you that being a cheese stick hasn't always been easy. I'm not a fancy brie or an aged cheddar. I'm encased in a plastic wrapper, which makes it hard to get to know me, even though it pre preserves me just enough to say fresh, funny, and ready for anything. When I presented my cheese stick self in class, I got a lot of laughs and a good grade. My cheese stick identity works for me because it, al it has allowed me to become flexible. Who else would risk being a slow cross-country captain or a class clown nerd? And yet, this self-awareness allows me to be exuberant in life, lively in actions, and basically a good guy who believes that indeed, people are good. I believe in working hard for what you've got. Sarah Dewey, captain of the girls' basketball team, started her college essay with so many questions about unknown challenges ahead and ended with the reassurance that hard work and a positive attitude can overcome any obstacle. How will I know if I am fit for the career I'm preparing to pursue? Can I picture myself at one job for the rest of my life? How do I know if the career path I choose is my true passion? All of these questions swirl in my mind as I wrap up this high school chapter. Although these doubts keep flooding my thoughts and challenging me with potential detours and roadblocks, I remind myself that with hard work and a shift in mindset, these questions open up opportunities for positive change. I learned at an early age from my two immigrant parents to take calculated risks and to persist even when things get tough. It is these challenges and the people who support me that pushed me to challenge myself with rigorous classes, musical endeavors, team sports, and hard work in everything I do. I believe that people work hard to be good people. days may pass by slowly, but four years of high school speed by quickly. I believe this world ain't half as bad as it looks. I believe most people, you people, are good. Family, friends, and honored guests, 
I am proud to present to you the outstanding, good, young people who are the graduates of the River Hill High School class of 2018. Ms. Ellis, HCPSS board member, and Dr. Michael Martirano, HCPSS interim superintendent, as the principal of River Hill High School, I hereby certify that the graduates seated before you have met all of the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Howard County Public School System and the Maryland State Department of Education. They are eligible to receive a Maryland High School Diploma, a Certificate of Completion, a Certificate of Attendance, or a Certificate of Achievement. It is now my great honor to invite our very good Interim Superintendent, Dr. Michael J. Martirano, to the podium. Good afternoon, River Hill. Give them a round of applause one more time, if you would. Outstanding. Outstanding presentation to all the fine young people who just spoke. You did a wonderful job. Well, I want to say first and foremost, you look marvelous and just absolutely beautiful. And I can definitively say that you are my favorite class right now. And I'm so pleased about your accomplishments. Uh, to all of our family members who are gathered here, uh, we want to commend you for the outstanding job of which you've done with all of our young people here assembled in front of us. But as I was listening to all of the speeches that have come already, uh, all the wonderful accolades, you missed one major important one. And, and, and I want to say you're welcome uh, because there's something that was missed. And once again, I want to say you're welcome because you achieved as a class the most inclement weather days of this entire senior year. You received, you're welcome, you're welcome, and you received seven days, and one of those days, I was so concerned about all of you, that one of those days was even, I closed school because of wind, and you're welcome to that as well, and I noticed that I'm getting a lot of applause from the young people, but no applause from the parents, and so those 2,000 emails that you've sent me complaining about that, I'll get to that this summer if you don't mind. Remember, people are good. <laughs> Young people, you've just heard uh, that you have been certified for the outstanding work of which you've achieved. There's no question that you've done remarkable work. And you're at the center of this arena for a reason. You are surrounded by your parents, by your family members, and by your friends, by all of our outstanding elected officials and dignitaries. You are at the center of our thoughts. And so today I have this wonderful opportunity to impart some wisdom. And I thought, you know, how can I make a really clear, crisp message that will resonate in a time when many people are telling you all kinds of advice. And so as you take those gifts and accomplishments, all as I ask, I ask a big favor of all of our graduates, take your gifts and use them for something good. Use them to be seeds and sow compassion and kindness and care. I ask that you annihilate hate with love. And don't ever be afraid of using the word love. Because that's the only thing that's going to make a difference. You're going to be, you're, you will face challenges. And you will come up against people that may not always be good as emblematic in the, in the presentation of which we've seen. But you will be the bigger person. You will rise above and take your gifts. And you will be good. You will be kind. You will be compassionate. And you will sow the seeds of love. And on that note, I know that we are here to distribute your diplomas. And I know we can't wait for that event to occur. But I have one more introduction. One more introduction. Mavis Ellis, our Board of Education Vice, Vice Chair, will address us now. I am so proud of all of you, and I can't wait to shake each and every one of your hands. Congratulations. Job well done. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Howard County Board of Education, it is my distinct honor to congratulate you, the River Hill Class 
of 2018 on earning your high school diplomas. But before I hand you your diplomas, I have three tasks for you to take with you as you leave the Howard County Public School System. First, continue to set goals. You have to set a goal to be able to achieve it. Goals could be, I'm going to a four-year college, or I'm going to a two-year college, or I'm going straight to work. Put yourself on a timeline and don't sell yourself short. You have benefited from one of the best school systems in the country. Use your potential to have a happy, productive, fulfilling, and community-involved life. Second, be prepared to face obstacles that might require a course adjustment in reaching your goals. It's okay. Just don't let anyone or anything turn you around. Don't let anyone say that you can't be successful. Know who you are and that you are prepared for any challenges you may face. You have had educational opportunities envied by many, and our diverse community has exposed you to a changing world where you have been successful. Third, no excuses. Don't let an excuse keep you from reaching your goals. Know that even if you have to alter your direction a little, you can achieve your goals if you work hard and persevere. And believe me, you may work harder than you ever have, in ever have in your life to reach your chosen goals. So my three tasks for you are set goals, be prepared for obstacles, and no excuses. And as you take those next steps in your life, know that you can have fun along the way. So Hawks, you can reach your dreams. Let's get those di diplomas. Before we begin with the awarding of diplomas, I would like to remind everyone to please hold your applause until after each and every one of the graduates have been recognized. Additionally, please refrain from using noisemakers so that all graduates' names can be heard. Life Touch Photography will take an official photograph of each graduate, so we ask that you please remain seated throughout the ceremony so that every audience member can see. Thank you. Mrs. Ellis. Please allow the following Howard County Public School System staff members or board members to award diplomas to their children or family members. Mario Ferrone, Stevens Forest Elementary School. Nina Ray Esposito Ferrone. Kathy Grimes, Pointers Run Elementary School. Rebecca Marie Grimes. <laughs> Sherry Hawes, Longreach High School. Tess Ann Hawes. Mindy Hirsch, Glenel High School. Aaron Michael Hirsch. Lethia Jackson, River Hill High School. Alicia Marita Jackson.
Kimberly Kinner, Clarksville Elementary School. Megan Elizabeth Kinner. Nicole Martin, Veterans Elementary School. Jaden Anthony Martin. Kay Morris, Howard County Public School System. John Brophy Morris. Claudia Morris, Wild Lake High School. John Xavier Morris. Sutha Prakash, Oakland Mills High School. Nithya Prakash. Anna Selbrady, student member of the Board of Education. Clara Marie Selbrady. Craig Michael Selbrady. Dana St. George, River Hill High School. Paul St. George. Alisa Wasileski, Fulton Elementary School. Alexander Nole Wasileski. Zachary Allen Wasileski. Austin James Abraham. Amrita Singh Bindra. Tobias Hoffman Acom. Sarah Faith Fishbein. Danielle Louise Gover. Zach Adam Grunland. Kyle William Gwinden. Victoria Ha, James Matthew Island, Olivia Grayson Island, Lena Casey Jackson, Anna Catherine Selbrady, Jasmine Joy Tiamfuk. Samantha Esser Yang, Megan Almodiel Rabe, Janie Huang Kai, Christopher Tuan Fung, Sarah Widnish Dawit, Tucker Jameson Finkelston, <laughs> Naomi Isabel Hess. Sophie Hanny Shen. Ashley Ruching Wong. Max Henry Carlson. Peyton Mackenzie Allen. Julia Ann Louise Altman. Neil Kumli Shamin. 
Sophia Taulet Envari. Lucas Mateo Arujo. Barthi Aravinden. Julian Bryce Arnheim. Mario George Arnook. Raj Brandon Ashar. Hannah Asmuth Askuri. Faris Safi Aziz. Elon Yakir Azrieli. Zachary Earl Batiste. Stephanie Alexis Beck. Evan Jared Benedek. Elise Lizeth Benitez. Jessica Taylor Bentavenga. Lauren Annette Berg. Aliza Perry Burson. Iman Golzar Buddha. Patrick Ferrari Blackburn. Christopher Allen Borgert. Luke Patrick Borgert. Ryan Matthew Brown. Shelby Rose Burnett. Leo Francis Busher. Kevin Menguan Kai. Madison Michaud Campbell. William Cow. Neil Chakrabarty. Luke Lunsford Champion. Evan Chan. Varane Pratash Haldry. Angela Chen. Irene Yu Chen. Alan Chung. Andrew Mingong Chang. Alyssa Morgan Chodnicki. Andrew J. Young Choi. Megan Chun. Griffin Anderson Sinati. Cameron Allen Coates. Joseph Andrew Sofol. Robert Tulak Covell. Lawrence Turner Crandon. Evan Theodore Curtin. Rohan Kantharia Dalal. Dylan Joel Daniels. Simon Peter Das. Shane Michael Fountain Delore. Amber Marie Dang. Brenna Elizabeth Donovan. Andrew Nicholas Doncor. Evan Daniel Doton. Jacob Thomas Downing. Catherine Shaonan Du. Nathan Hyukson Kwan Ellis. Brian Christopher Alfage. Alexander James Evans. Emily Ann Felber. Andre Zhang Fang. Nicholas Fiorino. Kelsey Josephine Furman. Brendan Daniel Fitzgerald. Hilda Althea Fleke Jacobson. Alexander Marshall Florenzo. Leah Hannah Frydenberg. 
Nicole Douglas Girardi, Natalie Ann Gochar, Krasana Gole, Hannah Lee Goldstein, Zachary Cole Goodnight, Julia Marie Grieben, Willow Chien Lin Greenfield, Matthew Brian Greenlee, Katie Elizabeth Grice, Gabrielle Ilana Hamburger, Amber Rose Hamby Caruso, Daniel Park Hahn, Jeanette Karen Harris, Michael David Harity, Sonia Sean He, Deshawn Lavon Hebron, Devin Michael Hendrick, Andrew Charles Hoffmeister, Anna Mary Hovitt, Arthur Shilong Huang, Andrew Jinhee Huang, Kojo Darko Aidan, Sermai Jane, Cindy Jo Jin, Katrina Jo Jolly, Allison Suk. Kalsawatana, Divya Dutt Kalori, Benjamin Ian Kamens, Brett Evan Kaplan, Madison Emma Cater, Ayush Bamal Katwala. Lori Lynn Kalouf, Eugene Kim, Gudo Alexander Heimberger Kim, Julie Suyan Kim, Catherine Rebecca Kim, Kyung Hwan Christopher Kim, Q Young Kim. Mona Sierra King. Emily Grace Romer Klein. Matilda Violet Shiyoung Koda. Garrett William Crackett. Jacob Samuel Krause. Claire Amanda Creamer, Asha Kanchakara, Adam Michael Kwiatkowski, Annie Victoria Larkins, Samuel Joshua Ledoux, Amanda Faith Lee, Kyle Kanyang. Kyung Hoon Lee, Young Hyun Chloe Lee, Kyle Sebastian Lennis, Andrew James Leonard, Robin Alicia Levy, Heidi Leah Lee, Catherine Min Lee, Kevin Liang. Zeki Crystal Lynn, <laughs> Bailey Marie Little, Karen Q. Liu, Jordan Shea Lohman, Jacob Andrew Lowe, Rachel Ma, William Robert McDonald. 
Jasmine McGarry, Riley Rain Mahoney, Joshua Brian Mann, Weiji Mao, Jacob Evan Marquis, Carly Elizabeth Marston, Alexa Lee Matthews, William Christopher Moss, Marissa Colleen Mazella, Laura Ann McAllister, Jacob Joseph McCann, Mia Lachey Ashina McCormick, Connor Samuel McCullough, Cooper James McGeehan, Brendan Joseph McKenna, John Dawson McLaughlin, Ethan Dan Mellert, Olivia May Mione, Lance Christopher Mercy, Jack Martin Minnick, Maya Bavesh Mystery, Carla Alexandra Monroy, Kendra Monique Moore, Ryan Moy, Vivek Nadampali, Lucinda Isabel Neely, Bikenza Fonda Ngu, Carolyn Thai Nguyen, Julia Elizabeth Nickinson, Corey James Northrup, Jade Elizabeth Nowoski, David Enyoma Waduko, Philip John O'Connor, Emily Kathleen O'Keefe, Joseph Duncan O'Keefe, Lisa Ann O'Keefe, Joshua Young Su Pak, Chanu Andrew Park, Young Wook Park, Kunal Jatan Patel. Sanam Alkesh Patel, Alexa Danielle Pats, Amelia Grace Patterson, Michael Garrison Paddock, Daniel Ryan Paletsky. Tyler Andrew Pearlstein, Christopher Garrett Pingitori, Thomas Michael Pingitori, Grace Anna Powers, Michael Chang Kwan, Kayla Nicole Reed. Erin Elizabeth Reeves, Claire Hao Shen, Kelsey Clementina Reed, William Robert Reed V, Brandon Joseph Antonio Reifsnyder. Anthony Lamont Richards II. Robin Marie Robinson. Rebecca Ann Romanic Romano. 
Michael Gabriel Bloom Rosen. Emily Elizabeth Rozier. Freddie Anthony Sagastume Morera. Pranavi Sayaparaju. Jack Donald Shell. Bailey Renee Schwab. Brett Nathaniel Schwab. Nehemiah Zero Johannes Seblu. Ahmed Sejmenovic. Caitlin Marie Semmel. Caroline Grace Siebold. Sanket Nilesh Shaw. Brett Donovan Shaw. Miriam Sarah Sheets. Samuel Ian Shanker. Victoria Shen. Roshan Shet. Ian Rohan Sinha. Sophia Corinne Scalney. Alexis Chopik Skachinsky. Ryan Basil Skachinsky. Julia Louise Smith. Sarah Jane Smith. Emily Dahi Sun. Andy W. Song. Priya Sudan. Aishwarya Srivastava. Eric Bryant Stanford. Brianna Rose Stanley. Zachary William Stevens. Noah Hunter Stern. Julia Sophia Swanner. Matthew Carl Swartz. William Charles Shalega. Carrie Shuby Talbot Sanders. Christopher S. Tao. Althea Marie Taylor. Cairo Jalice Taylor. Vishal Takor. DeAndre William Thomas. <laughs> Amanda Catherine Tossman. Victoria Tran. Joshua Baldwin Turney. Jabril Ashraf Guri Udin. Kai Francis Eaker. Emily Marie Yule. Ogena Chinello Umozulu. Kristen Elizabeth Von Schlag. Narani Harish Wagle. Jason Thomas Wong. Emily Wong. Lucy D. Wong. Joshua William Kuleveld Ward. Jason Nicholas Webb. Daniel Christopher Wells. Nicole Catherine Weshi. Carly May Wetzel. Reese Edmund Wetzel. Dawson Luke Wolf. Jesse Fan Wu. Shawan Sharon Shu. Amina Miriam Yeiser. Brendan Caro Yoon. Brian Saro Yoon. Sabrina Anwar Yusuf. 
Yiding Yuan. Adam Abbas Sadi. Eric Chen Zhang. James Yen Zhou. Amanda Wu Zhu. Congratulations, graduates. Please rise. Good afternoon. My name is Ashley Wang, and congratulations, class of 2018. It's been a fun four years, but we finally finished high school. I am honored to lead you in turning your tassels as a symbol of your long-awaited graduation. Please stand. Already. All right. Start with your tassel on the right. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2018.